Hello and welcome to episode 26 of our RimWorld playthrough. We started on the tundra and now we are doing so, so well. Things are very stable out here. We're almost living in luxury, let's be honest. Things are... Oh, first of all, no havoc. You don't need to sleep there. You can have Kriegsman's bed. We'll, we'll hopefully have that built by the time Kriegsman gets back. So for now, enjoy. Um, yeah, I think... I think things are going well. We have we have some things we need to do. Uh, specifically, we need to get get some more wood. Uh, that's actually kind of an issue. I still have some orders for going to chop chop some trees. That seems fine. There are a few struggling trees left. We also have this wolf um, and a fox. We may consider eliminating them before they become too much of a threat otherwise uh, research is probably kind of what we're doing still um, I think we also are at the point where yeah we could make an orbital trade beacon uh, we could just chuck that right in here um, we could also make a comms console somewhere um, we could even put it like in place of this. I don't know. We need, we need a comms console, um, so that we can call the, the traders. We could do something down here for now. Maybe, um, I mean, ideally it would have been good to put it next to this research bench. I also just need more research rooms in general. Um, I think really what it, what it is time for is just an additional expansion of of something so the workshop realistically like I could fit one more workbench in here because otherwise it's kind of awkward so maybe I'm just going to do like a significant expansion of the workshop and then we'll just get rid of this wall or maybe we'll like make a hole in, in the wall somewhere and then uh, have an additional expansion and then we can like reinstall this over here and it'll be fine. I mean, we could also just move all the production uh, pieces in here. Like if we really set this up right, we could go one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. And then, so if we did this like one, one more, then what we could be doing is yeah, one, to, like we could fit three along this way, three along this way. And that would be plenty of room. I think there's also an opportunity to consider like getting a toolbox, right? We would well, maybe like a toolbox zone or something in the middle um, so that we could be efficient with that. Uh, the other things you might want to consider is, you know, we want the ability to actually fit a fancy research bench in here, right? Um, we need one of these eventually. We could also just slap it down here for now. Uh, we could find a place down here for a, a fancy research bench. Um, I kind of like the idea of if I could just fit it on the end. And that would mean maybe expanding it like this and then like that we'll we'll open open it up a little bit maybe um i don't know i i, I do kind of like like the look of this so maybe we won't build the research bench here maybe we'll make this more of the workshop this will be more storage we'll actually just do storage along the sides uh and then this orbital beacon is, is going to be focused more on just being able to grab all the stuff off the shelf and we'll make this into a workshop. We can even put a door here so colonists in theory can like sneak through. Um, be a little bit more efficient there. And then in terms of the research, I could do a little expansion down here and we'll like turn this more into a laboratory or something. Um, or we could even kick off something down here. Uh, for a laboratory, but I think we'll focus on one extension at a time. And we do have a decent amount of sandstone blocks. So 
So we'll do this one. And I think that's that. Um, let's just get rid of the memory of our terrible conversion ritual. Junk and Cat is, is teaching all the tote children. I don't know why we're not also teaching. Okay, we, we get a lot of these. Oh, excellent. Um, oh, we can increase passion here, and we can also choose a trait. Well... Huh. Either bloodless or super immune. Super immune is pretty awesome. I think bloodless is very thematic. So I think bloodlust is the answer for Spanky. She's crazy. In terms of the passion. I don't necessarily need a passion. I'm really sad we didn't get uh, shooting. That would be ideal. Um, we're not going to do a ton of mining. We're not gonna do ton we, we have some animals. Maybe Spanky can also just be like the, you know, the classic absolute disregard for human life. But, you know, loves loves puppies. I think that fits. Okay. Uh, Polar, are you... Are you trying... Okay, you're just converting each other and neither of you are really what, we, what we're looking for here. Um, we do have a little bit of hay. I don't know if any of this is going to grow in time. We could consider... I don't know. I don't know if this is worthwhile, but like, hey, we're having fun. We're planting the hay. If it is growing, it's 71% because um, it is kind of chilly and rainy. That's a little bit less. So yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to grow in, in like the seven days or whatever. Um, but we'll see. Oh, look at Havoc has a little helmet on. That's adorable. Look at you. Steel helmet. Normal. Excellent. Um, that's fantastic. Okay, so we did get this seed. Now, we would need to plant this somewhere a ways away in order for it to blossom. Um, and I think, I don't even, I, like, I mean, up here is kind of awkward. We could have it, like, tucked right in to the, the base. Um, we would potentially, uh, deconstruct this, just to make sure there's no buildings or anything nearby. Um, I'm just going to see, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we are just going to see if, if this is something that we can, we can take care of here. Um, not exactly sure, uh, if, if that's a thing, but yeah. Um, Polar is definitely the one we probably want. No, Drunken Cat, you do too many things. Polar is psychically deaf. Huh. Well, who is gonna be good at plants? Can't be Edgar. Uh, could be Spanky. Spanky doesn't necessarily have much else going on. We do have the passion for animals. Um, and there's a passion for art. Spanky could actually be doing some art and even crafting. Um, there's an opportunity there. It's, it's going to be a slow road for Spanky. Um, maybe Luna? Because Luna doesn't really have much else going on. Um, it, it's, it'll be also a slow road, but only adults incapable of plant cutting. Okay. So currently it's only drunken cat. That's a, that, that can do anything with this. Um, that's really unideal. Hopefully when we get llama and creeks back, I have no idea when they're coming back. Um, laborer 
They will return in eight days. Okay. 17 days. I feel like it's been a while. Um, we can make fun, fun guns. What's next on the list? Let's get some television. I think we need to work on uh, recreation and things to make our colonists happy because the expectations are getting higher. We have uh, we have the ability. We could we could put a little thing in there. I also have like hide the ability to make hydroponic basins, and I just like haven't really I guess needed to do anything with the hydroponics. Um, nice little grow up in the bedroom. Um, yeah, I I I I mean we could throw these down some like in here, and it would be great. But that's yeah, not not gonna happen. We have. A quest available. Oh no. Um, Jovian Parsos, a knight of the Black Imperium, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. He imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection, and now he wants to keep the prisoner caged until the scandal blows over in 23 days. We have a paralytic Abasia. Uh, Abasia? I don't know. Um, so they're just going to stay in bed. This is going to be like, you just keep them, keep them alive, give them food. This is just, this is actually fairly easy to manage. It's really about having enough, enough, uh, food, which we have more than enough. We won't have enough bedrooms. So we would need to re recreate, create additional bedrooms. That seems, seems to be the case. Oh my goodness, look how fast Drunken Cat just slapped that bed together. Holy smokes. What a champion. Okay, now we're fixing. Um, we're harvesting potatoes. We're harvesting mushrooms. We have too many mushrooms. We have too many mushrooms. Uh, we need additional steel. Steel is currently a bottleneck to our productivity. So let's actually just mine a heck of a bunch of steel. Seems fantastic. Um, okay. Cooking. We're doing all sorts of things. People seem to be getting work done. Oh, no. Okay, we are going to fix that. Um, components are getting dangerously low. We are going to get into a situation where if our heaters break, we are going to be struggling to replace them. I think these are some of our last most accessible components. Um, let's hunt this ram so we can make some fine meals and just top everybody's stuff off. Okay, great. Um, we found the ancient mech. Uh, I don't think we're going to do much with that quite yet. Um, Spanky. Spanky just loves just running around outside like a crazy hyperactive child like that's just what spanky does um drunken cat needs a break okay you're insulted who and you're sweaty it is warm i did have a few quite a few comments um as, as far as i know the uh the heaters yes they do automatically shut off once once the target temperature is reached so these aren't really like heating they might be producing like a very minor amount of heat. Um, really, our biggest struggle right now is that uh, it's it's summertime, and so the outside isn't that cold. Um, and this geothermal generator does pump out actually like quite a bit of heat, so that's that's an issue for us right now. Um, we do have some options we could even like just vent out this room directly we could put a door here even um but it's not so bad it's getting pretty warm in this yeah this room is not you'll notice it's actually like perfect because it doesn't have the actual vent oh a, a black imperium person is here uh they are a tribute collector well we don't have any tributes we haven't enslaved or imprisoned anyone and we actually are getting stable enough oh what are you spanky you didn't go to bed you just stayed up all night mining one 
block of steel, and now you're ready to pass out. Of course, yes. Oh my goodness. Sp I think Spanky is maybe when we convert next as well, uh, or, or put on the list. Like, can we? Can you imprison children? Is that a like that? Just seems wrong. But I suppose um, it could happen. We'll convert. We'll convert somebody. It's. I think it's going to be a while before. Yeah, we have 17 days before we can attempt another ritual conversion. So. Um, I think that's that's not quite going to happen yet. We're getting close to another growth tier. We're learning. That's great. We're bumping that up. We want this nice and high. Now we're meditating. Okay. So let's convert. Polar. We'll get. Uh, that said, it's going to do a twenty-two percent certainty reduction. We, I think, are probably at, yeah, we're at 100%. So maybe we can kind of, yeah, knock this down by a good chunk. And then by the time Drunken Cat's... Did you just get... Is Spanky... Did you just insult Drunken Cat? Again? Or is that the old one? Who are you fighting with? Or did Drunken Cat insult you? Man. Everybody's really mean. That's kind of fun. Oh yeah, welcome to our tiny kitchen. Oh, is this was this just a trade caravan or was this, you know, they're a royal tribute collector? Okay, yeah. Um, well done, well done. Oh, Tinctoria, excellent. Oh no, two of our yaks are are sick. Um, female. Female, female. Okay, we, we definitely need to treat. Um, yeah, prioritize tending the yak, please. We want that immunity built up. Um, the baby yak that has the flu, honestly, we could probably just eat you instead of fixing you. Holy smokes. I don't know if we need to though. Uh, maybe we, we want to invest in like biofuel refining um, and we can convert some of our excess food. It, it, it should be noted though that like it seems like we have a ton of food, but in reality, we are missing a couple of colonists. So this food could go away pretty quickly. Once everybody's actually eating and like we could we could actually be making you know this is actually a better solution um, let's go cook fine vegetarian meals until you have five and that'll actually make eight total and then give polar a break but this way it'll use a little bit extra food and we can um, we can go from there uh, now, in terms of what we're allowed to use, we could say, like, maybe for these fine vegetarian... Okay, we're not going to use the fungus, and we're not going to use rice. Um, so it's just going to use the potatoes. And that way, like, because we have a little bit of rice and a little bit of, bit of potato, uh, it will... I, if, if I, like, forget about it, which is going to happen... I'm gonna forget that I did this, and it's just gonna like use way more food. That way, at least I'm I'm I still have like my stockpile of rice that I can use in emergencies to make just like the the, the simple meals that like keep us alive. So it's kind of a little organization strategy there. So now Polar can hopefully, uh, you know, after playing some chess, get that recreation topped up. Uh, we can go sort things out. Now I I do think Spanky, we might actually. Um, okay, you're feeding the yak. That's adorable. Well done, Spanky. Um, as soon as Drunken Cat wakes up and then deals with their own needs for food with these delicious, delicious meals, uh, and then their own needs for recreation. Look at that. Okay, we're actually feeling pretty good. You have high expectations, but like, it's fine. Oh. Where's Luna? 
Oh. Please run inside. Um, everybody. Come right here. It's time. Okay. Uh, Luna, you don't have a gun. Polar, you don't have a gun. Oh, no. This was this was a bad a big mistake. What happened to you? Yeah, you lost an eye. That's not great. Um Edgar, go to your bed. And uh who's our who's our friend here? We're going to have to get you a bionic eye. Um but that's fun. You can be a pirate. All right. Uh prioritize tending. Edgar doesn't usually do anything too important anyway. You don't really need an eye. Fine. Right. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You lost an eye. Rough. That sucks. I mean, you research. Um, what does an eye do? I mean, your sight's not good, but I think, I think, uh, that doesn't really affect your ability to research. So it's not that bad. You can, you know, put your monocle in, be a mad scientist. You'll be okay. Look at all these fine meals. We're also going to, we're going to convert that grizzly bear into. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, as in terms of our, our overall success. Um, we're researching. That's great. Uh, I do need to actually just make the next size up of a research. I also need to get maybe Spanky to craft. Quest available for mindless monkeys. A pack of five monkeys. We have a day to accept this for a whole bunch of medicine. Or we could get a Hulk body. That would be fun. Um, I don't know. The monkeys will arrive. And I need to kill. I just need to kill five monkeys. Not very hard. Maybe we'll do that. Spanky. Like, what are you doing? Okay, you know what? I think to end it off. Spanky. Oh, I don't want you in there though. Um, yeah, you're not escaping Spanky. I know your tricks. You're a wily one. Time for you to get into your bed. And then prisoner convert because Spanky has been way too grumpy. Polar is actually still kind of grumpy, but we are now getting enough animals that, uh, I mean, you're, this is always going to be forever because, um, you have, you, you are the main person sewing all the food. However, we have enough animals that you're no longer having a major penalty which is fine whereas spanky is just like we need to fight someone and there was a bear and yeah spanky really likes bears and that's just how it how it be sometimes uh so i think we're gonna end the episode there i actually didn't set my my watch at the start and i normally try to aim for like you know 20 minutes or so and I've, I feel like I may have gone a little bit longer, um, but that's okay. We'll have a little bit of a bonus. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, we didn't expand the <laughs> workshop at all because I didn't have anybody actually building things. And then I arrested the one person I put on crafting. We're going to get there eventually. We're going to get there eventually. In however many days, our friends come back. What was it? Active. Yeah, our friends come back in like a few days. Hopefully next episode, we'll get them back and uh, we'll start getting the production going on building things out. Cause 
once once we get a proper like big research center and we just have two two or three people constantly on research we'll get into the ship stuff real soon uh, we get some drills going and things like that we can get way more materials uh and we'll just we'll be in outer space in no time so yeah thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next one